very good accuracy and uh, <coughs> quite the power on him. Once he gets uh, fast enough to double ship, then uh, there's not much that's standing up to Har really. And that's the and that's the my point of discussion here is that uh, really if hand axes could not double and really they fucking shouldn't be able to uh, then there wouldn't be a, really a problem here at least not to the same degree I mean you might be able to send in Har and he can still take out shit on his own but it's a, a lot more tedious and you have more incentive to actually you know do the, the job faster with other methods. It's still probably the fastest in a number of maps, unfortunately. But I mean, it's it's help if they if hand axes couldn't double like that. Help towards uh, the type of game I like to see that is. Some would disagree, of course, but fuck the fuck them. <laughs> <coughs> hmm. Let's see. Yeah, this other phase here is actually uh, one of the qualms that I have with uh, Fire Emblem 4 is that that's how a lot of the phases uh, go. Uh, basically, each phase is really fucking long. But uh, not as much of an issue per se because uh, you're playing, your chances are you're playing on an emulator and that's got turbo function and shit like that. Okay, I can heal Shane on. From here. Oh, he didn't get hit. That's good. Uh, let's see. Okay, I gotta be somewhat careful here. Uh, I think something has a fucking horse slayer, and I'll fuck it. That will fuck you up if you're a mounted unit. Yeah, him. He has a horse slayer. Um. Whatever, I'll just take my time. Yeah, I'll... Yeah, I have a feeling I'm in a bad spot, aren't I? And that spot just got a whole lot better. But yeah, Fire Emblem 4, I mean, there's that uh, little bit of an issue with it, but... Well, anyone who's talked to me knows that I know that I think it's fucking great, uh, by and large. Uh, one of the most notable things about it is that you will be doing almost all of your damage on the player phase. You can't... One to two ranged weapons in that game are not spectacular unless you're like a mage and mages cannot handle being on the front line without evasion and I mean serious evasion and another thing if you're a, the AI in that game if they can't hit you or hurt you like if they're doing if your defense is higher than their attack which is really rare in 4 but I'll get to that later uh, or if your evasion is higher than their hit rate, they will not attack. They won't instigate an attack because it's pointless. <coughs> so, if you're using units like that, you can't just send them on the front line and expect them to kill everything because the AI is not that stupid. So, and, oh yeah, another qualm with the game is that uh, there are things that kind of break it. Like, uh, now this isn't a personal qualm of mine, and I'll get to why it isn't later. But, like, uh, leaving with Halsetti is pretty much unfucking hittable. Uh, the holy weapons in general in that game make you really hard to kill, by and large. And uh, <coughs> that makes the game fairly easy. But at the same time, you can't just send one unit out there and expect them to kill everything like you can in this game with, you know, it's like Ike, Layer, Odd, and Har. Because of the way the AI works. 
And because of that, you're still incentivized. You still have the incentive to uh, to develop methods in which you kill stuff faster. Because you know it's fucking tedious to have just one guy kill one enemy per turn. Because that's basically what you're doing if you just send one guy out and fire him before. So there's still the incentive there to play, you know, well, instead of just relying on some simple strategy. Even if you don't need to. And that's the, uh, what I think is more important, anyways, is the incentive to do so. Okay, I don't want to, don't want to fucking use a uh, horse there. <laughs> Definitely not. Sorry, I can drop mine. Yeah. <coughs> Mm. But yeah, if I didn't mention it yet, the uh, other phase type thing in, going on in that game isn't as noticeable because of the fast forward on the emulator you're probably using a lot of the time. Um, but yeah, uh, phases are long if you're ignoring that. Though they wouldn't be too long if they had uh, the type of game speed this game has as well, with the skipping phases and that. Okay, I will be fine if he takes a hit. Uh, where do I want to put Ike? I'm up here. But yeah, another notable thing about Fire Emblem 4 is that uh, you will not see no damage in that game, ever. One of the reasons being that uh, the damage is the damage minimum is simply one, even if your defense exceeds their attack, the damage will do one. But even if that weren't the case, you'd almost never see no damage because attack is generally much, much higher than defense. Oh fuck, is Rattles gonna fucking die? That's gonna be really retarded if that happens. He better fucking not. Okay, good. Um, <coughs> pretty sure I lose if Ronald dies. Um, let's see. Where was I? Um, fuck, I don't know. <coughs> yeah, but Fire Emblem 4, you're, uh, You and your enemies tend to have really high HP and uh, damage is always being dealt. Always. Unless, you know, the stuff isn't hitting, of course. But there's always... Uh, there, you, you don't see anyone taking no damage. You see guys taking... Like, if something takes five damage, that's, like, really insignificant. Even ten damage is, for, is pretty fucking insignificant. But... Uh, so you still have guys who can take hits that really well, but you can't have them going alone and expect to take hits from everything and then come out on top. They'd have to be, you know, not getting hit. A uh, notable comparison uh, with how later games are different. Uh, I noticed when playing Path of Radiance that, uh, I believe it was chapter 27, uh, yeah, I think it was, <coughs> there was one segment, uh, for sake of argument, I was playing on hard mode, which I was, um, and there were four warriors, in this, four enemy warriors, and like in a small group all together and I could send out Soren who's a mage if he got hit by all four like if I sent him in alone if he got hit by all four he would have survived like the enemy attack was just so laughably low that I could do something like that granted Soren was a little bit lucky when you're with the RNG but still I mean if I sent out any non-mage unit they'd be just fine as well I mean, that's getting hit, let alone, you know, you got to evade and stuff. Though that is arguably a balancing problem on Path of Radiance part, late game, it 
the late game balance in that game is a little bit uh, iffy, as uh, things is think. I mean, people say Ike breaks the game, but that's not. Well, it kind of is the case, but more than that, it's just the difficulty scaling isn't done right. Early game is just fine. I mean, early game is fairly difficult, but then later on, it it's just. You get way better than the enemies get better as the game progresses. That's that's just how that's just how it is in that game. 